This is Singapore Tonight. Good evening, I'm Dawn Tan. Tonight's top stories. The highest annual deficit for HDB coming in at more than $4 billion. Most of the shortfall is from the home ownership program. The central bank rolls out trials for a digital Singapore dollar. It can be used to make or receive specific payments. Joseph Schooling fined $10,000 and issued a conditional warning over drug use. Jong Tan Wei and Amanda Lim were also punished. Building resilience in the face of global uncertainties. The transport and logistics sector here to receive help to digitalize and decarbonize. And a pilot program that uses face scanning tech to help hospital ward visitors save time. I'm Jill Newbrunner. Also tonight, searching for answers as South Korea grieves. An investigation into the Halloween crush that killed more than 150 people has been launched. And the death toll from a collapsed suspension bridge in India jumps to 141. And I'm Roland Lim with your Asia Business Update. Supply chain challenges and costs weighing down on manufacturers in Singapore. They remain downbeat about the business outlook for the next six months. Plus, Hong Kong records its worst quarterly GDP contraction in more than two years, with a warning that the outlook remains weak. HDB has recorded its highest ever deficit in its 2021 financial year. It clocked a loss of nearly $4.4 billion, 86% higher than the year before. Now, $3.85 billion was incurred in the home ownership segment. That's almost double the previous year's figure. Now, of that, more than $2 billion was mainly from the expected loss for flats still under development. Now, this was because there were more new developments with accompanying subsidies and housing grants, as well as financial help for contractors and costs of project delays, plus supply disruptions from the pandemic. HGB says that it largely absorbed the cost to keep flats affordable, especially for those first-time buyers. An analyst that CNA spoke with said attributes the higher deficit to a resumption of building activity. In 2021.